Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Minds and Spirits review. So today, by Table Brewery, that's what they're called anyway, it's a, here we go, a kumquat and chrysanthemum pale ale. And uh, it's described on beer55, beer52.com, as a session ale with distinctively Cantonese floral top notes marrying with a clean malt base and European ops that gives a real essence of the restaurant's distinctive menu and perfect to enjoy in concert with her oriental spices. So I got this uh, from lowcostbeer.com for about 160. It retails officially at £3.65 a bottle. It's got four out of five um, on their site for reviews. What was that? I think it's £3.65. It says three dot six five, so I'm not sure if that's actually three sixty five. It's not actually coming up with a price. Mm, I presume it is. So yeah, kumquat and chrysanthemum. No, I'm a gardener, and the only chrysanthemums I know are the flowered versions. So, and I've never seen, I've never had a chrysanthemum beer before, so it's very new to me. So, a hazy pour. A hazy golden pour, shall we say? White head. Different, spicy. Spicy aroma, florally notes. Right, let's see what it tastes like. There we go. I'm getting there, I'm just warming myself up for it. Different, very different. Um, got a twang to it, I'll tell you that. Um, reminds me of some of them uh, bottle conditioned beers that I used to get from, uh, shops closed down now, there's a shop in Gedling that used to sell bottle conditioned beers, three quid a bottle, uh, a can or bottle, and uh, most of them um, had a certain taste to them um, but that was in the days when I didn't really drink that much and I would normally stick to the supermarket beers uh, that I know of rather than you know uh, try beers from other means I buy them from sh online shops and that sort of thing So I can imagine this. I mean, it's Cantonese. So, looking at what it is, it's three point eight percent. It's definitely a challenging beer to drink. It's definitely got some some taste going on in there. Um, I honestly have no idea if I'm tasting kumquat and chrysanthemum because I've never tasted that ever before. So, I'd be lying if I said anything different. So it's going to be one of them. I mean, I am getting the spicy and a bit of floral, but other than that, I can't pick out the taste. Oh. But it is, it's an interesting beer. Definitely one off the tick, tick off the old bucket list, as, as it were. Oh, I think it's one of them that airs on your chest type of beers, you know, um, <clears throat> you know you've drank it afterwards. Hey, let's be fair, it doesn't taste horrible in any way, shape or form, I'm not saying that, I'm saying it's just, uh, if, yeah, challenging. Oh, right blooming twang then. Sure, I've got a bit of orange in that, in the twang. Oh, it's probably the kumquat. And uh, while we're thinking about it, what the bloody hell is kumquat? 
There we go. Kumquat. Oh, there we go. Kumquat is an edible orange-like fruit that is native to Southeast Asia. Aha, you see. I know, I know I could taste orange. The citrus fruit resembles an orange in shape and colour. It's actually quite small, about the size of an olive. Wow. Typically, kumquat, kumquat's a round or oblong. Then someone's put underneath, what the heck is a kumquat? So, here yeah, you can see. That's a kumquat. You learn something new every day. Chrysanthemum in a beer. And again, chrysanthemum craft beer is a spiced herbed beer. So obviously you get in the the orange of the kumquat and the spiciness of the um chrysanthemum. Here. So in a lot of ways it's actually quite a good um marrying of the of the tastes. And it is. Got some taste to it, I'll say that about it. Now I'm not sure if this is still available at lowcostbeer.com because they had, there was a massive clear out, obviously when everyone was buying all these beers, uh, when, when, when the uh, pub shut, there was a massive rush for beers and all the online, all the online retailers got slaughtered, uh, own brew shops, the lot, you know, everyone's either brewing their own or buying bottles off the internet. So whether it's still available or not, I've no idea. But when you pay about one fifty instead of three pounds sixty-five, uh, if that was the price, uh, then yeah, decent price. Happy days. So, got hazy gold pour, white head. On the aroma, definite spice, a bit of floral. On the taste, both of them in the taste, and with that orange flavour that came through. There's a bloody squirrel outside. You can pee off. Um, rats with fluffy tails um, yeah and uh, challenging drink challenging um, it will definitely uh, wash, out, wash your mouth out sort of drink interesting different and with a right twang in the end so Another new beer for me, from, from Table Brewery, I, I can't, uh, yeah, yeah, it is Table, I'll have to go, um, put it on the old Instagram later, very different, um, yeah, <laughs> out of five then, um, like I said, very different flavour, good twang to it, interesting to drink, um, out of five, 4.1 out of 5. Yeah. Different. Always nice trying new beers. Alright, and that's it for this review. Oh, I think it's a bowl ticking here. Bloody freezing. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Cheers.